Hey there, today we are diving into the world of functions in Unreal C++. We will start with the basics of standard functions, exploring their inputs and outputs, then we will delve into more advanced concepts of virtual and static functions. Plus, we will uncover how C++ classes interact with their blueprint counterparts. First up, standard C++ class functions. In C++, a function is defined by its return type, name and the list of input parameters. Usually, a function takes a list of inputs and returns an output. This output is mostly a single value. But did you know you can also return multiple values using a tuple or a custom struct? Pretty handy for more complex return types. Next, let's talk about virtual functions. These are essential when you want to modify functions in derived classes. A classic example in Unreal is the begin play function. Imagine you are creating an RPG. You have a base character class with a virtual attack function. You create melee and ranged subclasses, each with their unique attack methods. But here you need to be cautious. As you can see, inheritance also creates new issues. For example, if you would create another character class that can switch between melee and ranged attacks, then you would need to either copy and paste code from other classes or have strange inheritance setups. In this case, other patterns like composition over inheritance can make a lot of sense. Also be prepared that virtual functions come with a slight performance overhead, as these functions will implement a vtable in which function pointers to your virtual draft functions are stored. But these performance hits are usually too tiny to matter. Moving on to static functions, these are linked to the class itself, not to any particular instance. You can use them without referencing the class. They are great for mathematical functions or utility features in blueprints. UGamePlay Statics is a prime example of a static function library consisting of functions you daily use in your work with Unreal. You can also create your own blueprint function library easily in C++ to add static functions making your class more versatile and user-friendly. Finally, let's discuss communicating between C++ classes and blueprints. Besides static functions, you can use functions marked with U function and labeled as blueprint callable. This allows blueprints to call these functions directly. Another feature is Blueprint Pure. Blueprint Pure is perfect for calculations and accessing class state without altering them. Mark them also as cons to ensure they don't change any class variables. The benefit of Blueprint Pure functions is you can use them without using an execution pin. Also, as they are cons functions, you can always make sure that these are essentially read-only and safe to use in any case. And that is a wrap-up. I hope this video has been helpful. If there is anything more you'd like to know about any of these topics, just drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.